What do you think was your biggest takeaway from the Olympics? Uh, what did you learn most about yourself as an athlete, as a person? Uh, what do you think was the biggest lesson that you took home with you after the Olympics? Oh, I, I think that's a great lesson that I learned. And I try to share this with, with my guys all the time and share this with any elite competitors is there's this uh, going into the games. I'll, I'll preface it with a little story here. Going into the games, um, you know, in the Olympic trials, I, I lost to an athlete that, that I beat 13, 13 times in a row. And, and then the match was completely mis misjudged. misjudged. And there was, there was some fouls, fouls going on. And, and then the, the fouls, fouls, frankly, weren't called. called. And at, and that, at that time, we did not have, have uh, on, the, on the match file a, an official protest after the match. You had to pay a fee. Have um have a separate um, committee, a separate you know, committee. review the match you know, review and go, the okay, match yeah, we're, okay, yeah, we really got that we wrong. We really got that wrong. And, uh, and uh, you, know, you know, potentially, potentially get somebody, get somebody a, rematch, a rematch. But I was but denied, I was denied due, due process. They, they said uh, that they weren't going to review the film because, because it was, uh, it was, uh, it was a, a judgment call. call. So, so they, they could just decide. decide. That wasn't in the rules, but they just decided to deny me due process. And, and uh, uh, so, so my, my, my next uh, recourse, recourse was to take this to the, the, the sport committee, the Greco Roman Sport Committee. committee. And, and when, when I got to the Greco Roman Sport Committee, sport committee they started they pulling members off of the committee, of the committee that may have uh, had bias and voted in my favor. favor. And I, again, I was like, you cannot <laughs> deny me due process. Uh, you, you have, have to, to keep the committee intact. And uh, ultimately, ultimately, they did not. And so the final recourse was to go to arbitration. In, in arbitration, arbitration, the arbitrator, the arbitrator uh, said, I don't know wrestling, wrestling, but I do know the law. And, and uh, if these, these are the procedures that you set up as an organization and your athletes are required to follow, you have, you have to follow your procedures. procedures and you cannot, you cannot deny, deny your athletes due process. process. And, so and so ultimately, ultimately we, we, we wrestled, wrestled the match. The match. I beat the athlete 9-0 and, and went on and uh, wrestled the games. But this, I mean, this process was appealed all the way to the United, United States Supreme, Supreme Court. Court. So oh as, as it was going, going through, through, the, through the courts between trials and the Olympic, Olympic Games, games uh, as, as much as I was training and, and preparing to compete, I mean, I, I was dealing with all this, these, these uh, distractions uh, along, along the way. And I, I learned that, you know, when, when, I, when I got on the mats, it was just, I was just so happy to be able to compete that um, – I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't I didn't think about winning and losing. It, it was, was all about, you know, what, what do I have to do now at this, this moment? What, 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 what are, get, get to my ties, ties you know, create, create an angle, move my feet, move my opponent. I mean, it's, it's just, just these simple, what, what do you do now, now, now? now. You, you go, go down, down in parterre, parterre, you know, and, and you're, you're on top. top. It's get, get my lock, great pressure. You know, it's just like step, step, step. What do I got to do at every single moment? And if you think about, you know, you know, trying, trying to, to win the Olympic, Olympic games. games. I, mean, I mean, that's, you know, five, five matches, matches to, you know, four to get, to get to the finals, finals another one to, to, to win it. I mean, that's, that's a huge task. task. I mean, it, it is a huge task anyway, but, uh, you know, just getting there is a huge task, you know, getting on the team. But uh, then you then you think, okay, you know what, that's a big task. I got to break this down into smaller chunks. Okay, I got to win my first match. That's, That's still, still a huge task. task. Okay, okay well, what, what do I got to do now? now? So, so it, it came down to the lesson, lesson that I learned is what do you have, have to do this moment and, and constantly being in that, that moment, moment, being present, not thinking about who I'm going to wrestle next, what, you know, what opponent I'm going to have next round. Um, it was always about what do I have to do this, this moment. moment. And, uh, and uh, frankly, it's, 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 it's you, you gotta, gotta just not give, give a fuck. fuck. Like, <laughs> you, gotta you gotta go out, and you gotta, you gotta compete, compete, and, and you wanna, you wanna win, win, well, so does every, every other guy in this bracket. bracket. They, 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 they wanna, wanna win too. too. And so, so wanting, wanting to win isn't, isn't, isn't good, good enough. enough. It's wanting, wanting to, do, or it's doing what needs to be done in every single moment. And, you know, that's the lessons that I try to share with the athletes that I get the opportunity to coach is, you know, you know focus, focus on, on the moment. moment. Don't focus on the next, next match. Don't focus on the next score. Focus on what's happening right now. now.
That's, that's outstanding. outstanding. I really, I really like, like that a lot. Yeah, and, and then, you know, from the perspective, perspective of an athlete, athlete I, I, I can see, I can see, see you know, there, there's, there's always, always a tendency to take a look at like whatever you're trying to call it. Let's say it's a tournament. Uh, you, you think about the like, winning the tournament, tournament. That's, that's the goal. goal. And like, like you said, that's a massive thing. thing. There's multiple matches. There's lots of variables that can happen in between. I like the way that you're saying how important it is to dice things up into manageable and digestible sections in the moment, and then just being present, being present for what with what you can do right now, rather than piling on anxieties or thoughts. Of, well, what, what if this and the next match? match? Or what, what if that? Oh, God, what if I have to match up with that guy? guy. It's, it's, I, I love how you said that. So, just being in the moment and dicing things up into digestible chunks. chunks. I think that's a very, very, very valuable lesson you just dished out for everyone listening. I appreciate that.